All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion and slash review for the 2024 thrower film called The Bricklayer, starring Arian Arkhart. And here's the plot. Coax out of retirement to clear the CIA's name, a deadly operative must confront his checkered past while unraveling an international conspiracy. Now here is some of the gas. Well, this was a super entertaining film by a lot, from beginning to end. However, plenty of issues in my opinion. First, let me give you credit where it is due. The fight scenes was really cool to see along with the color grading that was used. However, for most of the film, it was shot in questionable free-handing shots, which made parts of the fight scenes and chase scenes hard to watch at times. But I did get most of, of what was going on in the scene. It's just, it was either the, the shooting or the editing of, because there was different angles and he pieced them together. So it could have been the editing of how he did it, but it was just really fast in between. So you get a lot of fast pacing, fast pacing. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, the fact that cuts on the main character's face was not only uh, didn't just randomly disappear in the next scene, like you do with a lot of films, unfortunately, which is kind of a trope and just really annoying. They added more along with bru bruises throughout. The, females, the female character uh, that was his assisting him was this typical annoying young noob that was complaining the whole, too much throughout the first half of the film for me. But I liked her towards the end. However, the actress definitely wasn't the best at acting half the time. At one point, I was laughing at her when she ran away like an eight-year-old girl from for some reason. And she was crying before. And it was just really hysterical. And it just, and there was some comical, like, slightly, slightly tiny stuff in there. So I don't know if that was done on purpose because it's not labeled as a comedy at all. It's just labeled as an action thrower. So I don't know. Uh, the story had a, ru a rushness with scenes, transfers, but other than that, the writing wasn't that bad. Now, here is my rating. The film was a good time from beginning to end, as I said, and because of that alone, I do highly recommend this film. However, I personally wouldn't say there was much new to the story, uh, as you get the typical tropes and more twists was, in my personal opinion, for me personally, was easy to figure out. But then that could just be the fact that I have seen so many films over the years, and uh, I'm just getting used to the standard. Um, at the same time as saying that, though, when they Hollywood keeps re re recycling the whole everything they do, um, this is story tropes and stuff. It gets kind of boring. It gets kind of, you know, kind of over, definitely overused. So when they do a whole thing of like this plot twist that came out of nowhere, and I go, wow, uh, you know, just like a shocker or, or there's like something that's really good 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 performances that stands out so much then i give it high props and say there's something different however we don't get a whole bunch of the whole amazing plot twists the acting yeah but that at this point that's also kind of getting kind of stale um, no matter how good it is and wow factor it is um, i am personally for the story a good story and a good time but i also appreciate and would like something a lot more than that and i'm sure a lot of you do um with again with hollywood being this rehab recycling stuff so um but yeah i i got in, I, were, I had a great time with it it was very very entertaining um i do again i uh, do recommend it um but yeah so i don't know if i'm gonna be having something else out uh before Tuesday, 
I'll let you know, or you'll, I'll surprise you if you do. Um, I want to try to get an extra out for this week because I'm only doing two things per week. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.